Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Arbuckle. Welcome back to another video. Today I wanted to share with you guys some tips and tricks for Fortnite Battle Royale and how not to be a noob. Uh, this game has become extremely popular over the last several weeks and me and all my friends have been playing a ridiculous amount of it. And, uh, and I just wanted to share with you guys some tips and tricks that you can use uh, to get a little bit better at the game. So the first thing I want to talk about is knowing where nearby enemies are landing. So many people don't pay attention to where enemies are going. Uh, they kind of just jump out of the bus, go straight down, pick the location they want to drop in at and uh, and they hit it and then they realize oh there I think there's someone over here they have no idea what's going on uh, so pay attention when you get to that location I would recommend as soon as you pull your shoot uh, to kind of just look around turn around look around up above you below you and make sure that no one else is coming to the same spot you are if they are pay attention to where they're going so that you have an idea of where they're gonna be so that you can compete and not be stuck in the shadows so one thing that we've started doing is landing with the enemies and I know this sounds kind of dumb uh, but it works really really well if there's only like one or two guys what you can do is you can land with them and let them destroy like if they're landing on the roof let them destroy the roof and you just fall in and take whatever's there you know you try to beat them and then you're right next to them so it's an easy kill they don't have anything and you're able to take out that enemy that landed with you and, uh, and be able to get more loot without having to worry about watching your back so pay attention pay attention to where nearby enemies or are, uh, are landing and uh, and if you can land with them it'll work especially if you have an entire team uh, if there's only like one guy landing um, a good strategy is to take like three or all four of your guys and land with him and then I mean it's really hard as a solo player to take out an entire team so um, be really aggressive push them and uh, and pay attention to where the enemies are landing near you the next thing that I have for you is to grab everything that you can at the start and this kind of goes back to landing with enemies not necessarily because you need everything but because let's say for example you and an enemy land in the same house or the same location if you take everything that you see and make sure that there's nothing for an enemy to pick up and someone's around you you're gonna be able to win a gunfight because they're not gonna be able to find anything so many times I've seen people that they fall in on a house uh, like maybe the enemy will land on the roof and they'll fall at the front door They'll run in they'll grab the first gun they see and they'll run straight upstairs to try to take out the guy that landed up there the thing is, is a lot of times that guy will get away, right? Like you might be shooting at him. You probably have a crappy gun because it's the beginning of the game. They might get away and they might get downstairs and find another gun that you didn't pick up and then be able to compete with you just because you didn't pick it up. So the trick is pick up as much stuff as you can, especially if you're around enemies at the beginning of the game uh, so that you don't have to worry about someone coming up behind you and taking you out because you didn't grab whatever was on the ground. I personally believe like the essentials to the game are an assault rifle, a shotgun, uh, meds, and a shield. I feel like that's what you absolutely need, especially at the beginning. So make sure that you have all of those things. Um, and then the extra things are snipers, grenade launchers, grenades. Personally, I think a sniper is pretty important as well as a grenade launcher. Grenade launchers are super important. But again, I don't think it's an essential to make it through the first step of the game. I think you need to make sure you have an assault rifle. Make sure you have a shotgun. If you can, try to make sure that it's a colored weapon. If you guys don't know already, uh, it goes green, blue, purple, orange. Orange being the best tier weapon. So try to get a colorful gun uh, and you should do very, very well. The next tip is to collect as much material as you can, and I highly, highly, highly recommend that you do it at the beginning of the game. Uh, so first off, the reason you need material isn't necessarily to build a fort. So many people think that, oh, I'm not going to get material because I don't need to build a fort. What I use material for and what I know several other people use it for is to evade gunshots. If you're getting shot at, if someone's shooting you in the back, it's so easy to turn around and drop a wall instead of turning around and trying to figure out where they're at and shoot them before they kill you. Dropping walls is the best way to escape death. So if someone starts shooting at you from a distance or you see a team in front of you that's probably about to start taking you out, you can just place a bunch of walls and run away. Or you can place a bunch of walls, build a ramp, and have an elevated. There's just so many different ways that you can go about um, building to save your ass. I mean, it's so good. So make sure you collect as much material as you can. And again, the reason I said do it at the beginning of the game uh, is because at the beginning, not a lot of people are like looking for people like getting materials and stuff. Like, right? No one's, no one cares about you going to get resources. Where is if you're in a circle that's really, really small? You know, there's not a lot of room to run. If you destroy a tree, there's a really good chance that someone around the circle is going to see that tree go down because it's so big and the circle's so small. And uh, and they're going to know where you're at because of that. You also make a lot of noise, especially if you're hitting things like cars and the car alarm goes off. So try to get as much stuff as you can at the beginning of the match when there's no one around you and you have plenty of time. The next tip is to play the clock 
and to play the circle. Now these go hand in hand. What do I mean by that? So many people, as soon as the storm stops moving and the, the timer starts, they'll start running right to the next circle, right? Just right down the middle, I gotta get to the circle. You don't need to do that. You can waste a lot of time. As a matter of fact, if you know you're in a position where you can outrun the storm, I don't think you can do it like the first two movements of the storm, but after that, you can outrun the storm, especially if you're in one of those um, smaller areas where the storm's actually the, the last storm or the last circle was very close to the new circle, right? You have more time because there's not as far to go. The distance is a lot shorter. Um, but play the clock, right? Don't and play the storm. Don't necessarily run straight to the next circle because there's probably going to be other people that are doing the exact same thing and waiting and they're going to see you running right down the middle of the map and you're going to be an easy target. So play the timer, play the storm. Another way you can play the storm is to use the outside of the storm. I like running on the edge of the storm because it's extremely loud for those of you guys that play with uh, play with headsets, you know that the storm is extremely loud and uh, and it really helps to mask your footsteps. So I love running next to the storm uh, because it really keeps me quiet because of how loud the, the storm is. The last tip is kind of just like strategies. There's two different ways you can approach winning the game. You can attack hard or you can lay low. I highly recommend if you're playing solo to lay low. Um, it's a lot easier to be successful in solo when you stay off the map. Reason being, in solo there's 99 other people that are not on a team that are scattered and most, li most likely hiding in bushes. When you're playing teams, you know for a fact that um, they're going to be moving around together, right? They're not all going to be sitting in a bush somewhere. There's going to be um, a controlled area of multiple guys, and it's easier to kind of pinpoint where people are going to be. So if you have, I, I like attacking hard when I have numbers. So if I have, if, if if it's just like me and another guy, if there's two of us and there's a team of four, obviously I'm not going to attack them, right? Because I don't think that I'm going to win that fight, even though I might have more fi firepower. They have more men, and, and more men generally wins more often. So uh, make sure you have the numbers before you start attacking people. If you don't have the numbers, make sure you have a strategy in place that you can actually win uh, those gunfights. Again, playing solo, laying low, bush tactics is totally the way to go. And, uh, and if you're playing squads and your teammates die and you're by yourself, the really only true way that you can get that W is to play bush tactics until you get to the final couple teams and let them fight it out and try to let as many people die as, as, they, as you can before you start attacking them. Because uh, I know it's a pain in the ass in squads when your teammates die and you're by yourself and now you got to take out like nine teams of four. So you're not really sure how to approach that. So again, guys, you can either attack really hard or lay really low. These are just some basic overall tips that you can use to get better at Fortnite Battle Royale. I hope some of these help some of you guys out. Uh, make sure to leave some comments down below and leave some other tips and tricks that people can use, including myself, uh, to get better at the game. And, uh, and yeah, so again, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see all you guys next video. Can we be friends?